it is its own experience and it's something that is so in our dna that it's not going to go right. it'll go it's fantastic people makers a certain creative license for some very very honest storytelling uh with the new censorship rules coming in uh what are your fears how do you deal with it as a filmmaker today as a storyteller today you know see we've been dealing with censorship because i make films anyway but uh, uh you uh, so we anyway have to deal with it but in terms of ott it's a massive disadvantage because you are censoring you are we are not going to be able to compete like i don't think delhi crime would have gone through yeah delhi won an emmy today because yeah. you have the freedom to make what you make exactly and yeah on a platform that's global you are compete do not handicap your artists do not do that and do not handicap your audience because what you're going to do is not just censor my content now if you're censoring my content you have to censor the global content so then narcos will be censored and uh, every uh, everything will be censored game of thrones oh my god everything will be censored so you're you're telling your audience that they they are not fit enough to watch anything you're not allowing your filmmakers to compete globally so i don't think i think they ha- should have like child regulations like this show cannot be watched <laughs> like disclaimers uh, you know lo- stuff like that like like everywhere in the world you can't like start censoring the internet not in a country like india yeah 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 um what is uh, if you could have given i mean there are so many women women and i'm going to say women filmmakers not in the way that everybody else says it but there are so many women who want to get into the business and enjoy the kind of success you have um if you could have given yourself any advice that from all that you know today if you could if you were starting off again and you knew everything you know today what would you have told yourself then that uh, there is such a thing as timing sometimes we think things are not coming our way and it's like it feels all wrong but uh, uh, there is such a thing sometimes it just takes longer and you got to hang in there you got to hang in there and you got to um not let that delay or maybe someone else's lack of understanding or you, yeah you've got to stick to what you're here to do right i right. mean learning if someone tells you the script is bad don't be like you don't understand it like listen <laughs> here you know so you have to also learn to take feedback and realize if there is a problem and can you improve or there is stance in waiting there is merit in waiting you've got to know that for yourself like i would say patience and perseverance keep going yeah what are you working on next tell us what's been going on in your mind what's what's coming next what's coming our way next i'm just setting up my company properly remind me tiger baby so we are uh, we have a little show uh, uh uh this show that starts shooting for netflix on the 7th of december uh, with a new director uh which we are producing uh, with excel we okay. have last today your friend ranveer is on the chat you can say hi to him zoya Ravi- yeah hello what <laughs> <laughs> are you shooting ranveer he's asking you to sign him for a movie he's saying madam chalo film shoot karte hai he's already shooting Don't be greedy. You are already shooting. Why aren't you shooting? <laughs> He's shooting Rohit Shetty's right now. Yeah. So we are uh, producing. I'm going to get into Made in Heaven just now, season two. Uh, we have another show we don't have a title for, which Rima is helming. So she's doing that, and we have about three features on board. One doc series. Uh, it's it's manic. Plus, we are developing our next features. Rima and mine. Okay, lovely. Um, my my next question to you is uh, Zoya. Talk to us a little bit about a creative block. I know everybody knows your your creative process, the kind of films you do. But one of the one of the trappings of being a creative is that you are going to go through a creative block, and you are. How do you deal with it? What is what happens when you go through a block? You Whether know, it's right. 
how do you get inspiration how do you find yourself back again what do we do uh i think take a break i think if you can afford to you know and if you can't afford to take a break then do something else you know if you're working also do something else like if you're stuck in the script leave it leave it for a while you know i i tend to uh uh like if i'm working say about um like i'll um say zindagi like if i'm writing something and if something is bothering me i'll just stop it for a while maybe i'll start reading uh, books about road trips maybe i'll uh, uh, you know look at uh, a film set in spain maybe i'll do something connected but i'll feed my head in another way you know and uh, just let it go for a while and then it, then revisit it and the thing with blocks is you know i honestly uh, don't believe that the muse comes to you i mean as a writer the only thing you really need is discipline you have to sit there if you say you're working 11 to 4 you bloody well sit at that laptop or book or whatever you write on you know there are no moments you have to be there like you can't go away from blocked for a very long time because i think the discipline just breaks it through right right um i'm going to ask you a whole bunch of rapid fire questions now uh, not current kind of rapid fires but my kind of rapid fires um, and i and i just want to know a little bit more about your creative process through them uh tell me a book that you read recently that you would be excited to turn into a movie that i would be excited to turn into a movie uh i mean um, like one thing the most seminal piece of television viewing ever who is calling you now goya again your feel your your stag your your no, static if it's homie again i'm going to smack him no 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 it's not homie okay uh my my next question to you is from all the men you've worked with right all the boys um has anyone truly inspired you to think differently has been an inspiration in more than one way it's not just a terrific actor but somebody who's left an impression on your creative process somebody you learned something from and said wow i think anil kapoor actually because it's not so much about my creative process it's about my entire uh, mindset it's about uh, it's about gratitude i think i learned that from him i think i learned to keep reminding myself how lucky i am that i'm doing what i love and uh, and i approach every day with that gratitude and that zeal and zest uh, i've worked with him in dil dharakne do he's been a superstar i grew up watching him and he comes to set and he comes in with he comes in as though it's his first film you know he he's got that kind of energy and that kind of uh, love and that kind of like he is he's thankful to be an actor and every day and you know works off you and wants to do something fresh and it, it's it, it's it was very inspiring for me so i think he really so, had a question to ask you on ranveer but now that he's joined us on this chat i feel it's <laughs> only i do tell us zoya what was it like working with ranveer singh what was the best part of working with him and the most annoying part of working with him nothing about ranveer annoys me actually is me um he is um, the best part of working with him is that you just know 
I mean, you just know you're going to get such a slamming uh, performance. You know, you know that your this character that you've written is going to be translated in a very authentic manner. And uh, at the same time, you, I also enjoy the ride with him. It's just not where we reach and what it comes out. I love being on set with him. I enjoy the process, you know, like it's fun. Because yes, he is that thing. I am a delight. He would like you to know that, right? Yeah. I don't have glasses. I can't read the nonsense he's writing. But uh, really, yeah. really, 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 us. He's uh, um, really good. He's super sensitive. He's super bright, and uh, I enjoy working with him. Like I, I, I feel like we create something good. Like I feel like if I work with him, something good's gonna come out. You know? Yeah. Right. Everybody seems to be asking if there is going to be a, a Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara Part 2 or a Dil Dharak Ne Do Part 2. Right. Uh, it's like, I think they should just be left sometimes. You know, at least right. my... Like, when I see a movie like The Breakfast Club, or Dead Poets yeah. Society, which are the kind of that inspired Zindagi on a level, um, in a different way, but they were the kind of movies that stayed with you, you know. I don't want to see a part two, though at that minute when I finish watching... You wanted I'm, more. I'm like, I... Right, right, right. Is there, a, is there any star you haven't worked with that you really want to work with right now? Somebody that excites you there are many i uh, Name. I, I didn't work with irfan and i would have really loved to work with him right if with them in proper roles i want to work with tabu i want to work with rani mukherjee uh, I want to work with uh, 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 Ranbir. I want to work with Deepika. I mean, there, there are just tons of actors I haven't worked with that are really good that I, I definitely want to work with. Right. If you had a dream, if you had a dinner guest list, like a dream dinner guest list, who are the incredible women that would be on that guest list? I think Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. I think Trisha Shetty. You know, oh, Trisha we just had yesterday. We did an Insta chat with her yesterday, Zoya. She was amazing. Love, she's amazing. Yeah, I think she's amazing. Uh, I think Faye Souza, who I love. Uh, I think uh, Andrea Arnold. She's a filmmaker I adore. She made a movie called Fish Tank and she made a movie called American Honey. Uh, she's an incredible filmmaker. So her. Uh, I think, uh, who else? I'm only thinking dead, of dead, or dead or alive. Who? Dead or yeah. alive? Well, dead or alive, then I think I would uh, definitely want Dorothy Parker, the 1920s uh, writer, the humorist. I would definitely like to have her. Yeah, and Nina Simone. Wow. I'm, I'm gate crashing that dinner, Zoya. I'm gate crashing that dinner, babe. Um, what's the show you're currently binge watching? The Crown. Season and four. from the entire OTT universe, is there any woman protagonist that you're very drawn to, that you feel is just incredible? A woman protagonist in the OTT universe that I've absolutely loved. Uh, there's so many. It's excellent. Uh, oh my so I like all the women in that. Um, I like the women in Big Little Lies. I like the love. women. In, I love the women in Mad Men. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, there are many shows that, you know. I mean, well-written shows have well-written male characters and well-written female characters. You know? That's true. Well-written, you know, the, the women characters are always amazing. And the crowd. Is there any interesting international European world cinema or 
even a hollywood movie that you would love to remake oh wow because you you know if you love something so much it's very difficult to think you can do it well you know but uh, yeah. uh, uh i would like to remake some of the gangster films yeah mm. Mm. the mob the mob chicago yeah. yeah all of those yeah and my last question to you zoya would be that who is the director you think best exemplifies and captures the slice of life kind of movies you do in india overseas like who is an, who is a international director you think that does beautiful slice of life cinema and captures urban modern um you know stories i mean there's so many and they're all different uh, like i love uh, noah bombach uh you know he's done the squid and the whale uh he's done he's done many films i love uh, yeah. i love him i love i love david or russell he does also very okay. different films uh he did uh, uh what you call um of Andrea Arnold though she she's done fish tank she's done, she she's amazing she's amazing um i love um who else uh, i mean i and i love the other big cinema ticket you know i love marcus corsese i love quentin tarantino i love uh, um um who else do i love marcus corsese quentin tarantino uh, that whole uh, um catherine bigelow you can not you can Yeah. Yeah. You so can't. There, I mean, there are just various. I don't like one kind of film. So, you know, I love. My last every- actually, so yeah, is that because a lot of women, and I'm hoping that a lot of young women are watching this because I think when I started my career 27 years back, I was. to women who want to be directors other than just what you said keep at it and all are there any things is there any insider secret you want to give them is there anything you would tell them to do like it could be as prosaic as watch more movies or read more books but what would you think has really helped you that you would like to tell them i think you must hone your craft you must know your shit like know your story inside out and if you want to be a director the biggest thing that a director needs is that's so funny someone just wrote nepotism under no, here no you'll see funny stuff you see some real pearls no no that's really funny because i was like yes that's why i'm here uh no um in the sense that you know you as a director what you really need to know what is your perspective what is your point of view so know that know your characters inside out write their back stories write the world they come from uh, figure out what you're trying to say uh, look at the social uh, political dynamic around the story uh, figure that out because to do everything once you have that ready now you know what the mood is once you know what the mood is now you your actors know what they're doing the good actors you know if you know how to guide them your dp comes to light your production designer designs you we get the good crew they know what they're doing you know if as long as you are clear about what you want to say you are fine so know your story backwards and i don't mean like oh this comes after this what i mean is know the soul the core of it know what you want to say through this story i think that right. is yeah i think that's the only thing you need Well thanks Zoya I can't wait to know what you're going to say next through your next movie I'm constantly going to be following everything you're doing here and uh, thanks and we're for joining us it was a pleasure uh, lots of love to you Zoya and stay well and stay safe and Thank I'll see you guys thanks a lot bye bye